In this tutorial, we will talk about CTG layers options. So first option really interesting is an option placed here in the palette there. This option is a load structure from sources. It will automatically load the structure following the source of the sources you have defined. So if, for example, my source is anim0, so this layer, I will load structure from sources and automatically it will load the good source and the good structure. By the way, you'll notice that just like in an anim layer, we also have the different option here, so like lock position to move the layer. We have auto break and auto create. So if you are using the CTG layer on a similar structure where you have instances with exposure cells, I advise you to disable this option because if you let it enable and you try to color something, you will cut instances when you will be colorizing. So just disable this option and you will always color on the head of the instance. Okay, so now let's color quite quickly this character. So you'll notice each time you apply the squiggle, it automatically um, fill the zone. But sometimes, especially if you don't have a powerful computer, filling several zones quickly can be uh, quite hard to do if your computer is not pow powerful. Uh, so to avoid these little calculation time needed to fill inside a zone, you can disable this option just here. When you enable this option, actually, the calculation is automatic. And if you don't check this option, then you can add many little squiggles like this. And then check again this option to apply the calculation. So it's up to you to choose if you prefer to see the results in real time or if you prefer to first put all the squiggles and then see the result. And another, uh, at least uh, something else, there is this little sunglass. When you click on it, you just hide the squiggles and so you just focus on the coloring and nothing else. There is also another option available in the palette. This option is apply current squiggles on empty instances. It means all the squiggles will be copy-pasted on the whole empty instances. And so we can see the result like this. Of course, he's, here it's not really um, efficient, seeing the character is moving a lot. It's jumping and running. It's not very clever in this example to show this feature. But it's really handy if, if for example, your character is not moving a lot, and so you will earn time on your coloring process. Another way as well to earn some time on the coloring process. So here I have an animation with uh, two spaces to fill. So I create my color texture, but this time I won't need these structures. So I will do this. I will go here. I will disable the auto break. I disable the auto apply and I will enable the light table on the animation layer lightable that have been parametered like this, that have been set like this. Okay, let's draw a big uh, squiggle. Okay, and let's draw a big exclusion stroke like this, just to say no color here. And let's see the result. And it applied the color on whole images because the squiggle adapt following the source defined here.
Another feature that may interest you in the CTD layer is this function just here, which is extract color. So with extract color, you can extract the chosen color, just one of, this color, of those colors, or you can extract all of them separately or within the same layer. And all colors will be then rendered as anonym layer. And that can be really handy, especially if, for example, you need uh, later to apply some shadows or uh, some lightning effect. And you can use all those layers separately to apply uh, the effect and having a really cool rendering. <laughs>